Yesterday we heard the news about the Israeli army attacking and killing a bunch of terrorists in the heart of Beirut. And those terrorists, they are from Hamas, and even there is some, they are from Hezbollah itself. They are enjoying the protection of Hezbollah. Uh, so for a while, like, you know, Israel did not really go that far and attack in the heart of Hezbollah territory. Usually they attack in the south of Lebanon, where there is an agreement actually before, since 2006, that both sides, they don't exceed that line. But now the Israeli, they decide to go further and go all the way to Hezbollah territory in the south uh, part of uh, Beirut. All the news we see in front of us, it says that Hezbollah, he promised to give a massive response for this. Now, you know, Hezbollah is a, as a terrorist organization, have a very great job killing a lot of Muslim Sunni in Syria, in Iraq, and Yemen. In the same time, those Shia, they, they knew how to manipulate the public. So after losing their reputation, and Muslim Sunni, they hate them to death, especially in those countries. The Shia now, they are trying to make themselves or to sell themselves out to the Sunni again, that they are the one who defend them, because remember, Hamas is a Muslim Sunni terrorist organization. But in reality, Hezbollah is using Hamas to clean their image. So in one hand, they kill the Muslims in Syria, in Iraq, in Yemen. They kick them out. More than 4 million Muslim Sunni, they run away from Syria because of Hezbollah. Uh, and for sure, Hezbollah was going to be defeated massively by the Muslim Sunni in Syria, except that Putin involved in that war, if you remember. We knew that the only reason for the regime in Syria to survive is not Hezbollah, it's not Iran. They collapse in a very massive way under the attack of the Muslim Sunni. But the real reason for their survival is Putin. Now for sure Putin, he did not do things for free. So the Russian now, they have full control of Syria. They made the Syrians sign an agreement of 100 year rent free for their massive uh, port and airports given to Russia. Uh, the, the Syrian regime understand very well that Putin is the only one who can make them survive. If Putin now stops supporting Syria, uh, the Muslim terrorist Sunni, they will take over the Shia terrorist and they will be controlling the government. So <coughs> uh, Hezbollah, when he claim like they claim victory in Syria, in fact, it is the, it's Putin, it's the Russian. And everybody knows that, it's not a secret, you know. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, Erdogan, he have a plan to take over Syria and to become the caliphate to control a massive land, and he can steal the Syrian wealth, which is uh, the uranium. The phosphate, which is uh, number one, let us say, source of income to Syria, it is number three in the world. That phosphate where they can make uranium. So this was the plan of Erdogan, but Putin was faster to capture it. And Erdogan is the enemy of the Shia in Syria. So Putin, he was the only solution for them to save their ass. Now, going back to Hezbollah, <coughs> speaking about making the Israeli pay, we know that this is all hocus, tocus, focus, whatever, you know, it's just a propaganda, and it is a false statement. We knew that Hezbollah don't dare really to go in any kind of serious aggression with the Israeli. However, if you ask me, I hope, that Hezbollah will do something. Because I believe that the only one who can put this little, let us say, Satan inside a container is Israel. They are flourishing. They got the support of Putin. And they are expanding. 
and we see them growing in Iran, I mean, uh, sorry, in, in Yemen, uh, in Africa, even in South America. Actually, today, just today, the Argentine, uh, Argent, uh, Argentine government arrested four people, one Iraqi, three Syrian, I think one Lebanese. So a total four people, or, or five, one arrest before, <coughs> and they were planning to do attack in Argentina uh, to kill some Jews. And remember, Hezbollah did attack many times before Jews in South America because it's a soft target. What is there is bad, government is weak, uh, everything is corrupt, and they have money. And at the same time, they do drugs uh, business with South America, with the cartel. So Hezbollah, speaking about you know retaliation, it says here, as we see, Hezbollah then attacks in 14 hours on the day of Aruri. But all those attacks is useless, you know. So Hezbollah promised to do attack, but the attack is it's just, you know, like uh, to make themselves look like, okay, we did something, you know. But none of those attacks do anything. In fact, most of them, they hit like empty land. Like we, we, we did hit a tree or we hit a bathroom. Uh, so those are empty threat. And obviously Hezbollah knew their size. They, did, they knew that they are not capable of doing anything serious. But if you ask me, I pray that Hezbollah will do something serious so Israel will demolish those potatoes. So, based on what I know about Hezbollah, they are sneaky like a snake. They will not really do something serious because they are smart. They attack only when they find out that you are really unable to respond. Like, uh, now Israel actually is in a situation where they are not going to retaliate, big deal, because they are busy with war in uh, Gaza. So they are trying not to expand, and the Americans, they are putting pressure on them, and Hezbollah knew that very well, that Biden, the coward, actually Biden already, just two days ago, he moved our airplane carrier from the Middle East as a threat to Israel, that I'm not going to support you, I'm losing ground here. The liberals, they are against Biden, and he is trying to make them, okay, you know what, I'm not going to support Israel for long. So already he is moving away from Israel, but I don't think that will affect Israel very much, because if America stands with Israel or not, Israel is capable of defeat all their enemies. Remember, they have a massive power of nukes, which is in case of emergency, they will use it. You know what Samson did, right? But in the case of Israel, there's no Samson. It's not, I mean, the plan of Samson is not needed. So all what we will see now is just a lot of talk and less doing. And Israel deliver a message, a clear message, that you know what? We are going to hunt you. As we, we, we if you remember, we play a video about two weeks ago, the head of the Mossad, he made it clear that we are going to kill the leaders of Hamas no matter where. In Turkey, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Iraq, no place is safe for them. And now they practice the plan or the promised plan. So I say that the Israelis are doing a great job for now, and I hope they will do more. And I hope that Hezbollah will do a mistake and try to move their tail so the Israeli will trim it as they did in 2006. Leave your comment and tell me what do you think. Thank you very much. God bless.